Man, listen, right. So, you know, a lot of motherfuckers, they talk that shit. I just seen a motherfucker say, oh, Blue, you a Kurt. They say, you apologize to them niggas a thousand times, huh? Y'all niggas won't leave that shit alone, huh? Y'all niggas won't leave that shit alone, huh? But, you know, listen. Man, you know, I don't give a fuck what a nigga think. You know, I know niggas be trolling. I know y'all just talking shit. You know, I, feel, I, I, I appreciate the... The views and likes. I appreciate all that shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, man, when you, when you look at it, sometimes it's like, dog, what do you say to a nigga? You know, like, shit, I, ne I never, uh, oh, damn, look at that. Oh, shit, that's a bad, that's a bad motherfucker. But listen, uh, you uh, you know, you be damned if you do or damned if you don't around this motherfucker, right? Damn, is that another one? God damn. Oh, I got I got This a Rolls Royce. Since I live in my car, this a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Listen, though. No, let me stop joking, man. But real talk, man. Niggas want to keep that bullshit up. I ain't got no problem with them boys. Like I said, I was out there high that night. None of that shit should have even hit the internet, my nigga. And, um... You know, I don't know where them boys get their information from, uh, but you know who gives a fuck? That don't really bother me. But I see the tone change when they was like, oh, we know somebody you know. Like, their whole demeanor changed. And like, I supposed to, I talked to dog. We supposed to do, I don't give a fuck. We supposed to talk, whether it be on the internet or, or just real nigga shit. Haven't heard back. See, what it is, is like, they didn't know who they was fucking with. They like, oh, we thought we was for, we didn't know they was a killer. Oh, somebody must have told them otherwise. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where y'all got y'all motherfucking information at, but somebody had to tell them otherwise. Like, how do you just go off a bum statement? Like, how do you figure a nigga homeless? Like, what the fuck do you got? Nigga sleeping in his car of all things. Nigga, I go to work every day. I hustle every day. And I'm not trying to prove no point, but I'm just saying, what? that's how niggas get fucked. Oh, this nigga ain't what, what we thought he was. Let's, you know, let's keep going in on him now. Because at first it was like, no, nah, peace, you cool. Then it was like they got some information for some niggas. But wherever you got that information from, nigga, it was dead wrong. So now you got a nigga on here talking about something where you apologize. I apologize because I was dead wrong. Like I said, I don't know why I felt that way about these young niggas, man. I was wrong as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? For saying them things. Like, if it would have been a white 100 or something, nigga, stand on it. Fuck it, bitch. I, yeah, I called you a hoe, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, dog, listen. I didn't do my homework. Man, listen. I was dead wrong. I'm not going to keep saying this shit. But... People make it so it's fucked up for you to apologize for some shit as a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it is what it is, man. That shit's so far behind me. I didn't put none of that negative shit on my page. None of it, nigga. None of that shit went on my page. Nothing I done went on my page other than what I do on my page. Now, I'm going to put certain shit up. Like, I just like that. I like that new song, dog, just dropped. I'm trying to get that on my page. You know what I'm saying? Um... We trying to push peace over here, bro. How I'm going to teach the youth and be on some ignorant shit. And you know what I'm saying? The niggas, let me tell you something. As far as niggas, and it's, it's nothing I really should even speak about, but it's something I have to address, my nigga. Why in the fuck would I be scared of some niggas from out of town? And I'm a true, I'm from school craft, nigga. It ain't, it ain't, listen to me, nigga. It, that's not where I claim to be. That's not, I own property on school craft. I own property on Finkel. You understand what I'm saying? These are places that I'm at every day. I'm, I'm there every day. There's not no neighborhood that I'm just saying I'm from or where I'm from there. I'm very known there. So I don't, you know, I don't want to hear what nigga, I don't know what the fuck nigga's talking about. So listen, my nigga, you guys, I'm a true blue school crab nigga. All day in, all day out. I don't know where you are from field to field, nigga. Greenfield to Southfield, nigga. That's me. So all the other shit, I don't know what you're hearing, but that's what it is. I'm on Finkel every day. Second home, my nigga. Um, but we too old to be on that shit, my nigga. Um, I'd rather do business with niggas than beef with niggas. And that's why I'm trying to turn this shit around if I can with all this shit that's going on with my man them um, and, you know, the street lord niggas. Like, look, nigga, it's on the internet, nigga. So it's internet shit now. So, nigga, fuck it. If y'all want to do something, he put the rap out there. Nigga, put some rap out here. Let's show these kids. We we damn near, I'm damn near 50. 
Niggas is 50 and over and under. Nigga, let's put, let's show these niggas, okay, y'all niggas want, we, we, we. it's other ways y'all can better without beefing. You know what I'm saying? And I understand, ain't, and listen, so people were like, well, man, how you, this nigga bullying these niggas. How the fuck they gonna bully these niggas and they, these niggas claim to be killers and shit. All these niggas talked about, oh, dog a killer, he killed this and this nigga. Dog, man, listen, I like it, I love it, because that image was bold anyway. That's a bold image to have, nigga, killing what, for what? Be a real nigga. Nigga, a real nigga stumping through this bitch. Do something, nigga. Fight. Do something. Get a nigga to fight him. If you can't fight him, then like, goddamn, he ain't, he ain't like he coming saying, I'm going to come kill you, shoot y'all niggas up. That's what I'm saying. There's so much fakeness. They pushing through our hoods, my nigga. They pushing bullshit through our neighborhoods. Nigga, kill, kill, kill. And none of these niggas even about that. Nigga tell you to knuckle up or, bitch, I'm coming through there and hoeing all y'all. Niggas ain't doing shit. The fuck is you doing? Nothing, nigga. So, okay, fuck it. The nigga don't want to do this. Don't want to fight. Let's get in your lane. I'm going to make a rap about you niggas. Well, answer to the rap, nigga. You won't have to do something because the nigga not letting up off you. And so all I'm saying is I'm not on nobody's side. I'm on the right side. Like I said, my nigga. But people put this bullshit out here for so long about this murder shit, the murder game. And that's what's fucking the kids of everybody out here arrogant. Niggas get a few dollars and look down on other niggas. That's how I was back then, my nigga. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we better than y'all and this and this and this and we killers and this. Come to find out, nigga, this nigga horn everybody, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? They all these niggas, one by one by one by one, nigga. Fuck you. You ain't what you say you is. Fuck you. Now, who you gonna be mad at? The messenger? I'm just saying, that, that was a dark image to have anyway. That's a dark image for black people anyway, nigga. So, shit, it's time to clean that shit up anyway. So look, if y'all, you can battle without beefing. Since niggas want to put anger somewhere, we got other shit we need to worry about. We got immigrants coming over this motherfucker, bullying niggas. But niggas gonna take a stick to them, but take a real stick to to, to other niggas. You know, you seen the motherfuckers out of Chicago fighting? Niggas had sticks in their hand, literally branches from a tree, not sticks with clips hanging out on. These, these niggas, these this motherfucker got a machete. Twenty niggas outside fighting these niggas with sticks. But if it was a black nigga, y'all that came with them two, two, threes, five, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. 7.62 by 39, five, five, sixes. Nigga, that's what y'all would have came with. So what I'm saying is, nigga, let's clean all this shit up. And you know what they always say? They say survival of the fittest. And that's real nigga shit. Let me tell you something, nigga. For a nigga, nigga, I never been a cur. I fought dogs my half my whole fucking life. I fought pit bulls. I would never do that to an animal again. I used to fight them. You know what I'm saying? Not never to the death. To they ain't stop scratching. It's rules to that shit. People just think, oh, they fight them to the death, nigga. But still, it's just bad. I would never do that. I'm a proud dog owner now. I breed bull dogs, bullies, Frenchies. I still like gang dogs, but that's just something I don't want to get back into because the treatment of them. A lot of people had ten dogs and they can't even take care of themselves. Um, so I ain't into that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Ne you know, wish I never would have been into that shit. But uh, when a motherfucker say survival of the fittest, my nigga, that's a true statement. You know, you got to be prepared all the time. When a nigga call you out on something, you got to be ready to take that shit. Especially a nigga in my size and stature, nigga. I'm a nigga six foot two over. That. I'm damn near 300 pounds, right? I lost a lot of weight, but any nigga over 200, 220 pounds, you catch weight. So that means that any motherfucker, you're supposed to be ready, for, especially if you got a family out here, nigga. You don't know what's going to happen. All of us need to be eating right in the gym, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's just real talk. So when nigga call you out, fuck it. You ain't looking so bad. All I, I, I got to wait three months. It's niggas in the gym right now for a wait. It's niggas off the chain right now. What they call it, nigga, off the chain right now where you stand, nigga, let's get it. You got to be ready like that. I'm not ready like that. So I need to be in the fucking gym. You know what I'm saying? In case a nigga call a nigga out, like, fuck it, bitch. You ain't about to just hold me. Let's get it. Let's get to it. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, so I don't know. I just want to be on some positive shit, my nigga. I'm about to go out here to Philly tonight, my second home, you know what I'm saying? Besides Detroit, Michigan, I, I I lived in Philly too, but I'm about to go to the real North Philly. So anybody out here from North Philly, uh, tap in. North Philadelphia, here I come. My second home, my nigga. I'm about to go to Max's, get me a cheese steak, Philly cheese steak, and it's on, my nigga. So yeah, y'all tap in with your boy Trap Tall Blue. Love y'all.